Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. I'd like to start today with something from the comments from a couple of episodes ago, talking about us merging cultures. Now, um, I think the messaging got a little bit lost here because the comment was talking about us merging cultures and the benefit from us was that we were going to be able to change our traditions. And the point of the comment was basically like, you don't need to do that, you can just spend prestige, which is exactly what we did. But why would we merge cultures, I think is the more interesting thing, because um, there is another reason to do it. The other reason to do it is quite simply, if we take a lot of land, like say these, this Anglo-Nordic land right here, with this land we could potentially go province by province as we've been doing with Ireland and converting province by province. But that's really slow. I mean, how long have we got in the current one? we got four years left and it's halfway through. That's going to be really, really slow to do every single province. Now, you can hope that, like Denmark, they just happen to convert it all for you. And that's a nice hope. But there's nothing you can actively do to make the AI do that. I mean, I'm sure there are different AI types that are more likely to convert. I'm sure if I look at one of these guys, let's have a look here. Um, like, see, maybe we look at this, maybe there's one of these ones that makes you more likely to convert to your culture or something like that. I'm sure that's the case. But, realistically, it's just rolling the dice, right? It's just putting the odds in your favor. And so far, I mean, like, this has been held by Router people for, like, what, 200 years, 300 years, maybe? And they have not converted a single province. So, you know, it, it there's nothing you can really do to speed it up. But... If we merged our culture, like if we merged with Anglo-Nordic, well then, you get a one-time event which can convert a lot of that land. And let's say it converted half that land and all of the router land that is currently router uh, switches to the new culture. Well, if that's the case, then you've just saved yourself like what? Um, let's see how many we've got in here. Like, uh, I'm going to estimate like... 12? So you might have saved yourself 60, 80 years, something like that, by doing it. it. It could be worth it. It could definitely be worth it to save you some time, even if you have to convert a few provinces, as long as you don't have to convert the same number of provinces, um, then, you know, you come out ahead. It, it's an idea. It's not something that I've done, but it's an idea here, and it could be good, especially if we take a lot of land. I mean, Let's say that we take this Greek land at some point. That could be very worth it to just con uh, to merge with Greek, you know? You get a lot of um, land that you could potentially instantly convert. It could be okay. Um, Andalusian could be one. We're going to get a bunch of Andalusian land soon. Maybe we want to get that culture into our culture and we get want to get that converted quickly. I don't know. I don't know. Also, is there any router culture anywhere else? No, I mean, like, even Jerusalem hasn't converted, and it's had that land for ages. Um, I think the only router culture is within our realm, right? Yeah, because it's there, there. Yeah, I think it's all basically within our realm, so. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to other things. Mongol check. They're still going. They have 33,000 troops. They're facing somebody who has... 19,000 troops. I mean, that's pretty good. You know, that's not necessarily a terrible number. However, their ally is over here, and that is nowhere near this, and they have extreme powers of sieging. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to go well for them. Right, back to us. Uh, let's start with a train for a tournament. Now, we don't necessarily need the train for a tournament. We already got strong, which is the big bonus out of it, so we don't really need it. But, it was pointed out that this will also improve our knights. So, in theory, I think our knights could all get this exact same event, in which case we might be getting more strong knights, which would be fantastic. So, yeah, let's start the training. So, we don't necessarily get very much. Actually, the knights can't become strong, but the knights, every single knight will get a guaranteed one prowess. That's not bad, and because our prowess is high enough, we don't have any chance of being wounded. We could also... Um, take a discount on a chivalry cultural tradition, which is kind of interesting. I didn't know that we could do that. I wonder what happens if you have the chivalry cultural tradition and then you get to do this. Maybe you get another training event? Hmm, interesting. Like another option? Don't know. Anyway, 
We'll take the prowess increase, I think. Um, also, I love training is excellent. One prowess. Training is impressive. One prowess. All right. Well, fine. They're both exactly the same. Uh, what does well trained do? Huh. You would almost think that this one should be um, somewhere else in the list because this one gives progress to vict uh, like higher progress to victory. So this should really be like up here. Really, what I think this should be is excellent is prowess plus well trained. Impressive is prowess or well trained. Training is successful is prowess or well trained, and then this is wounded, right? I think that would be better. So you get both bonuses if you get the best roll, or you have a chance of these two, or you have wounded. Just having it like this is just weird. Anyway, maybe there's a reason for this. Oh, you know what? Training is excellent probably gives you strong, and we already have strong. I'm being stupid. It's because we already have strong, right? Also, that's a permanent prowess increase. I think. Yeah. I think that's permanent. In which case, that is actually pretty good to do on spawn. As in the moment that appears, we should just do it. Right, we don't have a worthy successor to the Greatest Knight of Frisia. This is a problem. We should get a worthy successor to the Greatest Knight of Frisia. Who is our worst knight? Uh, 21? 2019? Uh, 16? 15? Okay, we got some knights all the way down to 13. I mean, I'm forcing this person to be a knight, but still. We, we could do with some better knights. I think a lot of them died during, like, wars. Which, I mean, is really just not on. But, like, what can you do about it? Just can't get the staff these days. Uh, let's go for unmarried. They're adults, unmarried, in our court. There's 29 of them? I suppose we've got a lot of castaways recently. So let's see who we can get. Matrilineal. Sort by prowess. And, uh, yeah. I guess we'll just find people like you. And then, actually, I'm just going to click on him a second. Like you, 36 prowess. Wonderful. Let's get you in. Next up, I'm going to get this person a wife. Uh, we're going to search by, I don't know, these. Let's see if we can find something good. This one seems good, but you're already my courtier. Let's go with her. And let's go. Right, wait a second. I lost my executioner. But the reason why I'm deliberately waiting a second there to get that one done is because he was um, already my knight. So I was thinking that he was going to pop up in every search. So I thought I'd just get rid of it while I could. Uh, we lost our executioner, right? Oh, and our bodyguard. And Okay, we'll do all that in a second. Once we get all the people in our court, it's a better time to do this. Right, you. You need a wife. Your wife is going to be this person. Congratulations. Right. Next up, we have you. Searching by prowess, matrilineal. Uh, wait. You? Yeah, you'll do. Although, wait, lover's pox is from him. We don't want that in our court. Go with you, 33. Let's get you in. Next up, we have class. Uh, he will marry that person. Next up, we have you. You are going to marry... Oh, wait. Yep. You're going to marry that person. I forgot that um, I only look at prowess for when we're getting men into our court right now. You're betrothed, so I don't need to look at you. Matrilineal. Oh, sort by prowess. I was thinking he looked really good, and then I was like, oh, wait. I didn't sort by prowess. He just has some uh, genetic traits. He's not necessarily actually any good. What's what's this one? Oh, Nestor um, Nestorianism. Okay, I, I recognize that one from the map. I just don't see it very often. Spymaster, why don't you marry matrilineally? Somebody with high prowess? Yeah, that guy will do. Seems good to me. Next up, we have you. Matrilineal. Prowess. This dude. 32. Seems good. We're going to get, like, you know, much stronger in terms of our army minus our levies. Like, if we just raise our men at arms, we're going to be significantly stronger right now. Because, um, we're going to have a bunch of new knights, basically. Right, you. Search by... Wait, wrong one. Get you in here. That's fine. I should probably look for shield maidens. I'm probably actually allowed to, um, you know, have shield maidens now. 
without, you know, becoming stressed, which was our main problem beforehand, is that we became stressed pretty much constantly. So, um, we weren't actually able to, um, appoint them. But I don't think that lazy actually causes a problem there. Yeah, let's get those two... Wait, I just realized I didn't do this correctly. I didn't do this one this time. I just searched by a stat. 28 is still fine. There we go. Uh, but yes, I may actually be able to appoint Shield Maidens, in which case I should. I've lost where I was in the list. Ah, it was there. You. Uh, Matrilineal. Sort by Prowess. It's going to be Erich. There we go. Next one is you. Sort Matrilineal. Sort by Prowess. It's going to be you. Wonderful. Next up is this guy, sort by a stat, you're going to marry her, seems fine. Next up is this dude, again sort by a stat, just get the marriage going. Right, you, matrilineal, sort by prowess, find somebody. Yeah, you can get married, that seems fine. I'm hoping that we're going to have people who can fill these roles that we need to, for acclaimed knights at some point as well. We'll see. Um, one of these person, one of these people are probably going to be good. Uh, let's do that. Right, next up. Uh, back one. I just realized if I go back one, then it highlights the last person I was on. Which is a small optimization here. Sure, you're going to marry her. Seems fine to me. Could potentially switch it to inheritable traits, but given I haven't started with inheritable traits, I'll just keep going. That seems fine. Next one is you. Matrilineal, prowess, find somebody, get them into our court. I think I might just go prowess for all of them at this point. Uh, just because, um,. Yeah, I don't know where our night line would end up. I guess I would have to like let some of the marriages go through and have a look. But uh, yeah, I don't know what our worst night is currently. Back one. You. You're going to marry that person. Next up. We have... Um, Adela. She is going to marry this dude. Seems like we have a lot of uh, 28 prowess people joining, which is not bad. I mean, it's also good to have a few spares now that I think about it, given that we're planning on doing a lot of war, and war tends to be... I know, this is going to be a controversial um, thing I'm about to say. War tends to be where most of your knights die. I know, it's a shocking uh, connection. I don't know why nobody has thought of that before. But uh, there you go. Right. How many do we have left? We have two. Okay, matrilineal by prowess, Hesso, you're going to marry, yeah, it's from her, the negative trait, so I don't care, and then you are going to marry, um, I don't know, I don't know why I'm being picky on this one, I'm going to marry that person, sure, that's fine, alright, let it go through, burying the hatchet, you want us to stop being rivals? I didn't realize we were. Sure, whatever. That's fine. Let the list uh, complete. There we are. I have a daughter, Denise, who is pretty, Amazonian, and a genius. Fantastic news. Right. Great. What's next? Uh, you have a betrothal, that's fine. Now we have to go to children. I don't care about unmarried. Uh, I am worried about... Let's do age sorting here. I'm worried about them all having guardians. They have a guardian, I don't care. Uh, if they don't have a guardian, I do care. So this person, no guardian. Let's find him a guardian. Doesn't matter who it is, as long as he has a guardian. There we go. I'm not going to send him to university. It's way too expensive now. Yeah, that's fine. Just make sure they have guardians. If we can convert their culture, we can convert their culture. If, but like, it doesn't really matter. 
Uh, there you go. You can be a guardian. Next up, we have you. You have a guardian. You do not have a guardian. Guardian's going to be that guy. Did I just randomly scroll down the list to find him? Yes, of course. But that's fine. You need a guardian? I didn't know there was a crushes bit. That must be new. Um... Wait, what culture are you? You're Rooter? That's fine. I won't convert a culture then, because that guy must be some other culture. Next up, you need a guardian. Guardian's going to be that guy. There we go. Next up, we're going to have you. And then we're going to have the guardian be that guy. I just thought of an interesting idea for a campaign as well. I was just, noticing, I was just thinking, because you can convert... Uh, children to their guardian's culture. An interesting idea for a campaign would be a really, really small nation, right? But you try and create two cultures in it. Like, you have one, which is like your warrior culture. You give them every warrior culture trait that you can get. And the other one is going to be like your diplomacy one. And then you try and like educate people down one of two paths. That'd be interesting. I don't know how you would set it up, but it would it would be a challenge. You need a guardian. Um, guardian's going to be that person. Doesn't matter that they're soon going to be an adult. That's an even better reason to give them a guardian when they don't have one. Because if they don't have a guardian, they miss the role that the guardian gives them for their education. Right. Nothing popped up. That's fine. Next. Court positions. Anyone who is not excellent will be under review. Actually, most of them are excellent. You. You're under review. Next person is good. Don't care. You're terrible. We can do better. Yeah, we'll replace you with excellent. I don't care. I'm going to take, like, some prestige. Who cares? Uh, cup bearer. You're good. You, however, are excellent. Next up, we have this person, court jester. You're only average. We can replace you with good. And he'll like us. That's even better. Excellent, excellent, average. Oh, wait. You're an artificer. It doesn't matter. You're also an artificer, so it doesn't matter. Court Poet is going to be that person. Uh, oh wait, back up to the top now that we're on new positions. Bodyguard, gonna be that dude. Personal Champion is gonna be that dude. As a Personal Champion is going to be an acclaimed knight. Executioner is also going to be our acclaimed knight, simply because uh, he's top of the list and he's excellent. Wonderful. Right, that solves that. We have four prisoners. Um, I'll get a hook. Oh, sorry, I'll get money. I'll get a hook. Oh, he's already considering a proposal. We are. You any good? Nope. I'll take a hook and let you go. You, I'll take a hook and let you go. Wonderful. A friend died. That's not wonderful. Right. Let's wait for those to go through. Everyone out of my prison? They are out of my prison. Good. Do I have a worthy successor? I do. Fantastic. Makes our life a little bit easier, doesn't it? Right, any of the rest of these that I need to care about. Heir in line to inherit titles. Second in line to Andalusia. Yeah, uh, I'm shocked. I'm first in line. Her health is good. We could kill her, but that would probably be considered um, a bit bad, huh? Uh, killing your own mother. So I think that's fine. Our health is going to be fine for ages, so I'm not really worried that her health is better. So that'll be good. Right. Now, there are other things I want to do. Uh, I don't know whether... You, can you go on an activity if you've already declared war? I don't know. I'll need to try that. So we don't know... We know we can't do it the other way around. So if I want to do an activity, it has to be that way around, if anything. But uh, uh, we'll see. Uh, let's do this. Cool. Whatever. Um, yeah, why don't you have some money? It seems fine. Good. Right. Oh, I have to f I have to click finish. I can't just press escape. There we go. Right. Um, let's declare a war, and then we'll see what what we're feeling here. Now there are a couple of different wars that we could declare. We could try and take some of France, make uh, France a little bit smaller, a bit weaker, a bit n like you know, make our realm look a little bit nicer. We could do the same with Aquitaine as well. A, a suggestion has been made, which I like because it kind of um justifies things I already want to do with an RP reason. 
Uh, we could try and get the coastline of Aquitaine. One, more coastline. Two, we'll link up the land we're eventually going to inherit in Andalusia, thereby making our realm not look terrible when we inherit. I kind of like that. We would also want this bit of land off of France as well when we do that. Hmm. Okay. So, Gascoigne and Aquitaine are the two we would want here. Uh, unless there is just a better war we could declare against Aquitaine. Let's just have a look. Who holds th these two bits of land right now? This is, hold direct this is held directly by Aquitaine. I see. And then this is held by somebody else. Okay. The other thing that we might want to consider doing is not declaring the war in one go. The reason why we might not want to declare the war in one go is if we don't want the Kingdom of Aquitaine in the end. Uh, because what we could potentially do is we could take all the duchies and just have a bunch of duchies rather than having actual kingdoms down here, which might be nicer for us. Or we could create the kingdoms in the image that we want. I don't know. Um, how many vassals can we have? Uh, where does it even show that? Like, where's our vassal limit shown? Um, I only, I know it's showing if you, um... Ah, there we go. So we're at 27 of 65, so we've got a lot of vassals to go. I was gonna say, I know it's showing if you're above your vassal limit, I just couldn't remember where it was showing otherwise. Uh, in the most obvious place, obviously. Uh, oh, you can also see your stances here. That's kinda cool. Um... Not that the stances did anything, but I'm sure that you could make a campaign where they do something? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you would structure your campaign for that one. That's another one that's on my list of... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Why do we get 33 vassal opinion? Oh, our personal diplomacy is shown here. Huh, this is a useful screen that I never use. I mean, apart from for looking at their uh, contracts. Okay. Um... Right. I'm just thinking, because we have such a vassal limit, maybe what I want to do is take someone like Aquitaine or like France and just dismantle them. So take uh, take him as a claimant, dismantle, uh, take the primary title, destroy the primary title, uh, sort out the duchies, right? Maybe that's the path we take forward. Maybe that's what we want to do. We, we just take the tyranny hit because honestly, like, who cares? Like, what's our vassal with the lowest opinion? Vassal with the lowest opinion of us? 39. Okay. Why don't they like us? Cultural acceptance murderer. Okay. Whatever. Doesn't bother me. Okay. Um, if I'm going to do that, I should start with France, right? Because, uh, although we want to keep this, we could uh, take the rest of France and dismantle it a little bit. Let's see if we've got something. Wait, I have a hostage of France? I have an alliance with France? Since when did I have an alliance with France? Did I do that? I guess I did that on purpose. Oh. Alright, well, you live at uh, Aquitaine. Uh, also, didn't wasn't Aquitaine at one point like my um, dynasty? I guess that disappeared. I think a bit of it was our dynasty. I can't remember which bit of it was our dynasty, if I'm honest with you. Uh, I think it might have been Aquitaine itself, but obviously it's not anymore, so whatever. Right, um, let's search for a claimant. So, Lotharangia is not going to be a good claimant as they can't join our court. How about Prince Sancho? Would you join my court? You're in a matrilineal marriage? To who? To this person? Why? I, I don't know, do you want to join my court? You're a player heir. Okay, that's why. Um, would you join my court? Nope. You? Oh, you're wandering? Ooh, wandering with a claim? Alright, you might join my court. Let's see here. Uh, I think it might have to be a male heir, though. You would not accept an invite to court. Uh, you? You're too far away. Where are you currently? Oh, you're, um, okay, I roughly know the area of the map you're in. You, too far away. You, would not accept an invite. You, would not accept an invite. Oh, you would. You would accept an invite. I'm going to send you a gift as well. Oh, you're at zero. That's so annoying. Anyway, 
You? You would accept an invite. You are the grandson of Aquitaine. Okay. That seems reasonable. I'll invite you as well. Uh, also, you need to matrilineally find a husband. It is going to be this dude. Right. Let's get that one going. That's fine. Right. Clear this out. One of them must have a reason to declare war. Ah, yes, I was right. It did have to be a male heir. Okay. For the kingdom of Aquitaine. Well, I mean, if we're going to expand, we're going to expand. We might as well use the power of being uh, Catholic while we have it. Uh, and the power of being Catholic is that we can interact with other Catholic nations in this way. So, I think we're good to go. Who are you allied with? You're allied with Sweden? With Barry. So, Barry is a vassal of France. They would join. So, at 6,000. So, we're at 32,000. And then you give 12,000. So, we are at 44,000. We would definitely need some levies. But, I think we're good. I am going to declare a war. Let me double check. Will become your vassal. That's all I needed to see. Let's go. Also, uh, can I still do these? I can. Wonderful. And the Mongols are still in the war. Okay. Uh, I guess I should hold the grand tournament. I'm going to try not to die as well, but we'll see. Can I do this? Wait. No. No, I can't. You can only... Um, you can plan anything now. Like, it will let you plan activities you can't go to, but you can only uh, do the ones that I've marked at the top. Because I have the tick for all of them, I think. Yes. Okay. Or we could potentially do a pilgrimage and get the pilgrim trait. Uh, let's just do a grand tournament in our capital. Why not? Uh, make sure that we don't add joust or anything else that might involve a horse. Let's do archery, recital, board game. Actually, you know, before we do this, before we do this, there's one other thing I want to do. Uh, I want to search my court. Let's reset. Search court for adult women. Sort by prowess. I just want to see who I can make shield maidens. Uh, do they, they probably have to be my culture as well. Let's do that as well. They probably have to be my culture. There we go. That changes the list. Just want to see where shield maiden is. Um, I don't even know where it is on the list. That's the problem. I think it's in this section, in the personal section. Want to know what the conditions are. Maybe it's martial is required? Remove guardian. Can't remember the condition. Oh, you know, it might be on our culture. It might be on our culture. Uh, where is it? Performative honor. Uh, doesn't say what, what you need, unfortunately, in performative honor. Uh, I may look it up. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, legitimized bastard. Don't need to do that. Uh, let me see. If I don't find it soon, I will simply look it up. Four more? Grant pardon? No. Okay. Let me see what shield maidens are. I'm doing this live. Shield maiden CK3. First one is not the wiki, which always causes me problems because I'm like, if it's not on the wiki, then it's probably going to be random forms, in which case I might put a cut in. But let me see. Found the wiki one. Shield maiden is not. There we go. Shield maiden. It doesn't say what the conditions are. Okay. Making a shield maiden. Um, okay, the requirements are, they're at your court. Oh, they have to be close family. Not already a shield maiden. Have the ability to do it. Okay, prowess is greater than 12 and is an adult and is not incapable. Okay, so they have to be close family. All right, well, that narrows down what we look at significantly, doesn't it? If they have to be close family, then we're looking at... Is there a way of doing... It must be Dynasty... Well, D Dynasty Folk Walding will do it. We have no close family. There we go. We have no close family who qualify. Well, that certainly makes life uh, easy. Actually, I should do that probably, but shouldn't change the list. It's not actually letting me change it to all. There we go. Let me change it to all there. I guess maybe the lists were the same, which was why. Can you be a shield maiden? 
No. Your prowess might not be high enough to be. Oh, it is. Yeah. So I guess wife isn't close family either. It has to be close family, like, by blood. Okay. Cool. Uh, grand tournament. The reason I want to check before we did the tournament is obviously they could then be knights, which would then mean that we could have them, um, you know, uh, sorry, I got c confused about which one I was going to do here. Fought on foot? Perfect. Um, yeah, they could then be knights and they could then participate, which would be good. Right. Continue. Uh, we don't need superior mounts here. We might as well take superior armaments. That seems fine. Champion is going to be our champion. Uh, we're going to go for triumph. We're going to do this. And we're not going to do the event which kills us. Or the, the thing which kills us. In fact, if we're going to qualify, we should pretty much just not do anything else. I'm going to create a new rally point here. Call that green. There we go. So you're going to be our men at arms, and then I'm going to raise some more troops here. Because we know roughly what we need. Uh, my enemy's friend. I've learned that Queen Thordis, is, uh, Thordis foolishly takes up arms against my enemy, King Gottfried, despite her sending her grandson Masloth to be my... Or Mas Slav to be my hostage. It's pretty... Um, this petty claim war has been laying has lain bare the wrath of her promises of peace, let alone her callous disregard for Maslov. Or however we're going to say it, I don't know. So things are not so black and white, or I execute him. Alright, things are not so... I guess I'm not going to execute him. That seems like a good idea. 32,000, that seems like enough here. We're going to stop gathering. Wonderful. Um, how much do they cost? Yeah, basically nothing. Then I'm going to rate, do another rally point, actually, and this one's going to sit here. I'm, gonna raise, I'm actually just going to raise the rest of our troops, and they're just going to sit on our capital. You know what? <laughs> if we can't um, be sure that someone isn't going to siege our capital, let's um, just stick a whole bunch of troops on top of it. also realize that holding a tournament when I'm about to send all my knights to war may not be the smartest move, but whatever. I mean, because they won't be able to participate. Uh... Yeah, I would love to fight this if I can. Yeah, you can be loyal to me. That's fine. Chase them. We're going to catch them. We have caught 1,000 of them. They are very dead. New martial perk. Absolute control. Ho, ho, ho. So we're currently at 322 and 78. We are now at 347 and 78. I guess this doesn't change very much because I'm at war. But yeah, basically now we get a bonus on all of these ones, which means our control level goes to absolute. So we get more taxes and more levies, which is good. Right. Uh, this is all fine. Don't need to worry about this. Could call allies into the war. I'm not going to. I'm going to attack here. More people arriving in Amsterdam. That's fine. We are defeating these armies. They're chucking more men in here. I lost a bodyguard, I'm guessing because he's dead. He, well, my friend Gilbert is dead, so I'm assuming that was him. Um, there were some people fornicating. Bowyer, brace yourself. Can I, like, just need to move this up so I can see, see it? It's because, um, apparently I can't move that at all. Never mind. Uh, what is this? These are our fine, finest bracers, my lord. 10,000 lashes of bowstring won't wear through these. Strike a deal. I can get better bracers, okay, which also gives me better experience, which is nice. I can pay money, or I can do without. I lose stress because I'm lazy. Like, striking a deal would be lazy, just paying money wouldn't be. Yeah, okay, I'll just pay you some money. Can I go to any of these? Oh, you automatically visit a locale? Oh no, I need to make sure I, aut I do my locales. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> So you could automatically visit a locale that kills you. That is not good. <laughs> right. Be nice if you could set like a default locale that it goes to. There we go. Time to show the world my skill. What? What is this? What is this? I gain stress no matter what? Alright, well I guess I'm going to gain stress. That's fine. Um, I'm going to hit the target. Fairly certain that's the goal in these kind of tournaments. Uh, somebody has been hit by a loose arrow. 
uh, the family will be cared for. My score decreased by quite a lot due to not hitting um, a target and instead hitting a person. No, that seems fair. Stress level's gone up. Uh, and then I hit the... <laughs> I just noticed what it said at the top. So, first one, um, you know, I, like, I hit a person. And the second one, I'm like, you know what? Time to do it blindfolded. That'll work. Let's go for an 86% chance. I got a greatly decreased score. I'm not winning this tournament. I won the tournament. Okay. I got nothing but score decreases, and I won. Great. Fantastic. I'm the best. Uh, wait, pause, pause, pause. I want to go to the temple. The temple is safe. Bring me glory, St. George. Bring me glory in my recital uh, you know, competition. I'm basically saying, can you bring me some glory while I read some poetry? You've created the Folkwalding Tarm uh, Cadet Branch. Okay. Uh, you know what I should do with Cadet Branches? You got a cool uh, thing. Prosperity through God. No, not that cool. Okay. Also, they're going to be very confused when their definition of God changes in a few years once I uh, write a new one. It's a birthday party. Let's take Private Army. I've been told that House Guard kind of suck because they have a maximum size of five, which is not great. But the Men at Arms regiments going up, uh, like as a whole, are pretty good. So now we've got we should have some that are upgradable, like this one. Sure. We'll upgrade that one. None of the rest of them are, because they're already so much over the deep, the size that they should be. In terms of a birthday present, I'll take the big one. I got a battle axe. Nice. What should we get the person who has everything? I know, a battle axe. That'll do. You'll love battle axes. Okay, where's the Swedish army? Not over here, that's all I needed to know. Right. Oh, there's the Swedish army. Okay. University. We have a new university. Where? It's in your realm, but like, where is your realm? Uh, your realm is here. Cambridge? Uh, yes, I think. Yeah, it's Cambridge. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Right, to head to their capital. Should get us 10% extra war score because it's their capital. I'm gonna show the world my skill of uh, being able to like speak, which I did again. Right. Um, I didn't quite get the bow experience I was looking for, but that's okay. Right. Ooh, because I'm a poet, I, I can actually get a special thing here. Wonderful. Let's do it. It also loses me stress. Now I need to do this. We'll take the 80%. And we got a great score increase. Now taking this, I got excellent regalia. That is excellent. Wow, look at that. Diplomacy per level of fame on regalia? What's our current one? Yeah, I'll definitely take diplomacy per level of fame over that. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, look at the difference. This is four general opinion, which is basically like that plus a tyranny loss are the only good bits here. This one's just great. I'll take it. Yeah. So now our diplomacy sits at 46. Yeah. 46 is a nice amount for our diplomacy. Um, We got this. We got the 10% for taking their capital. Let's go win some battles. Did we win? Clappy hands. I think we won. Hey, I won. So I get this one. More diplomacy. Yeah. Love to see it. Uh, I'm now going to go to the temple. Um, I'm going to tell these people to get out of the temple. The temple is my safe space. Nothing bad happens in the temple. Automatically visit a locale after three months. I don't have to visit another locale. Got it. Let's switch our leader. Someone who's better at fighting. And then we'll win the fight. And that'll be us at 100. Alternative reading. Uh, so I found a tome. It's heresy or I can read it. I'll read it. Also, what's our diplomacy right now? Solid 49 diplomacy gives us 41 opinion. We've discovered Machi Collations, which I think is the military buildings. Is that correct? Uh, that would be correct. Ho, ho, ho. Lots of building to do. Let's choose something that isn't lots of building uh, as the next thing. Uh, yeah, let's take this one. Let's take Renaissance, though. I could also take one of these. Actually, you know what? Let's take this one. 
um, for the development growth, because it won't be useful otherwise. That's fine. I won. I will enforce my demands. Nice. We will now disband, and we have now started our massive expansion. Okay. Now to do something that will make me very unpopular with Frisia. Hello. I am going to use my hook to take the Kingdom of Aqua. I don't even need to use my hook. He will simply give it to me. Wonderful. Have a nice day. Mm, he's not even that mad at me, to be honest. He still kind of likes me for pressing his claim. Uh, okay. So now we have all of this. Now we have to figure out what we're doing with this. Uh, I don't really want Bordeaux. I could get Bordeaux back to him. Is he like Rooter? No, he's Bavarian. Okay. What's the special building in Bordeaux? I don't know what the special building is in Bordeaux. I'm trying to think. Don't know. Well, you know what? Like, let's use the power of looking things up. Uh, special building uh, Bordeaux CK3. What is it? What's the special in building and why is it unbuildable? Bordeaux is Basque's heresy holy site. All right, cool. It's for a grand temple. Uh, question asked, question answered. Um, so I want to give this to a router person. Let's just, let's sort out everything, then I'll get to Bordeaux. Yeah, yeah. So what's the de jure duchies? Oh, the de jure duchies are horrible. Um, okay. Let's figure this one out one bit at a time. I just have to pick a duchy and solve it. So Aquitaine actually looks correct to me. Like that looks like that is its de jure borders. Yes, okay, that's fine. This is an easier way of looking at it. Gascoigne, you are the de jure borders minus like the one bit of land that I have. Okay, I'm going to grant you Bordeaux. Yeah, there we go. I'm about to make myself very unpopular when I destroy Aquitaine, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, Armagnac. That one is de jure borders. Toulouse. Wait, am I looking at this correctly? I need to find one that's not de jure borders so that I can see it. Wait, am I in the de jure border map mode? Is that why they look like de jure borders? Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, you also hold this land over here. I kind of want that bit of land off of you. Hey, uh, mate. Yeah, yeah. Wait, is this your vassal? It'd be perfect if it was. No, it's your direct land. Oh, he's not going to like that. I can't revoke his title because I have a truce with him. Well, I guess I'll just leave you with that then. Okay. Aquitaine. Would like to. Is that your vassal? It is. Okay, I would like to take that vassal off of you. I'd like to retract... Uh, that vassal. Yeah, I know it's tyranny. That's why I'm doing it. Right. So that is de jure part of Languedoc, which currently does not exist. <laughs> you. You currently hold a duchy. You hold the duchy here. I would like to take that duchy off of you. Yeah, I'd like to take that one. You're currently like, yeah, I might do that. What if I sent you a gift? Then would you be like, yeah, I'm gonna do that? Cool. Do it. Wonderful. So I'm just checking he doesn't hold any land that's anywhere else. Uh, this seems fine. You're, uh, you need to lose some land down here. Is this your land? No, this is Albi. I need to retract a vassal from you. To attract Albi, you will accept. Wonderful. Good. Right, this Frisian land here. Oh, that's currently leased out. Okay, interesting. Um, maybe this guy? He's my friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's not in line to anything. You, my friend, I'm going to grant you. Uh, let's see here. This. Yeah, it seems fine. So that looks better. Toulouse looks correct. Auvergne. 
is slightly correct. Some of this land is technically part of Burgundy, but let's not worry about that. Uh, you have some land up there, which should be part of Berry. Does Berry exist for us? It does. Okay, so who holds this land? Uh, this guy does. Well, that's not ideal, because now I need to revoke... Now I need to take him off of you, revoke his title, then give him back. Okay. Secrets are being exposed. Yeah, of course you'll concede to your leash. I won the wrestling. You, you're going to lose your title up here. This is fine. Okay. You are now going to go back underneath Auvern. So I'm now going to grant you a vassal. I'm going to grant you that guy. You are now going to go under Barry. Wait. Uh, how do I grant you this? Oh, I revoked the title. Never mind. I'm going to... Wait, what, can, why can't I grant you land? You can't grant... Wait. Because Barry isn't... <laughs> Barry's owned by France. Ah, well, that would explain it. Yeah, 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 okay, I think that's fair. <laughs> is this still filtered by us? No, it just happens that everybody is related to us. Your grandfather is in charge of Galicia, but you have a connection via like someone further down in the line, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not in line. Okay, you, my knight, I grant you this land. Which I took by accident, but that's okay. So now, Aquitaine looks not too far off its de jure borders. Right? It's kind of fine. We're way above our vassal limit, which is great. Yeah, uh, wait, wait, yeah, we're way above our vassal limit. Vassal opinion is minus 33 due to my 74 tyranny. That seems fine. Uh, now, I'm going to really make them hate me in Aquitaine. Because I'm going to destroy Aquitaine. Goodbye. There we go. Right. So now people in here are like, Who are you? You destroyed my title. You're a tyrant. And I'm going to give them some money. And they're going to be like, Oh, never mind. I'm your friend. You have some money. Why don't you have some money? Have you tried money it solves many issues for me um here have some money there we go right oh and we also have um, barcelona down here uh which this should be part of but let, let's not worry about it because i have a truce so i'm not allowed to do anything yeah that seems good pay ransom sure you can pay ransom it's absolutely fine prisoners uh get rid of them uh, I'm gonna beat you. You're you're terrible. I'm gonna destroy you. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna take the positive stuff here. Uh, I'm gonna go with whatever gives us the highest score, which is 88%. I lost wrestling somehow, despite being incredible at wrestling. Okay, I have to wait for it to finish. Would be nice if you could skip that. I think I've said that before. And just say he's disqualified. You're disqualified. I won. Look at that. I'm in incredible. And then he conceded and I won. Wow. It's inc how did we win that? Oh, wow. What a turnaround. Okay. Uh, Sure, I'll try and get some renown off of that. I didn't get renown. Okay. Sure. It's fine. Uh, Artifacts of low durability. I will repair my crown. Wild bear hide. Uh, I'm going to grant that to whoever dislikes me the most. This dude in Barcelona. Hey, well, first of all, have you tried a wild, a wild bear hide? Second of all, have you tried a pile of money? Cool. Right, that solves that problem. Uh, I think we got a ton of artifacts somewhere. We must have got artifacts when we took over something. I don't know, maybe I lost them when I gave it away. Anyway, uh, Mongols? Yeah, they've won their war. <laughs> they've eaten this one. They have 34,000 troops. They're kind of hemmed in. I don't know if they have a... Like, they have to go north, right? Because they don't really have an easier path forward. Huh. Interesting. I thought they got, like, event spawn... Maybe they event spawn troops when they declare wars. 
I don't know. I thought they got more event spawn troops. Yeah, not sure. Anyway, uh, that's kind of nice now. That's looking good. You don't hate me. We have no factions, I think, that have any legs. It'll send you a gift. Hey, you're going to leave. You actually already want to leave, so that seems fine. Goodbye, factions. Wonderful. Uh, do we need to do something here? You'll probably go to a temple, I'd imagine. I lost my royal architect. Okay. I can gain astronomer permanently. Monthly lifestyle experience. Alright, I'll take a permanent increase. Uh, yeah, that, that didn't say it had a limit. Let's see, do we have it here? We have so many buffs, so I don't even know if we'll be able to see it if we have it here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's a way of seeing, like, more buffs. I don't think there is. But, um, yeah, it seemed to be permanent, so I'm going to take that. Royal Architect's going to be you. Bodyguard's going to be you. Executioner's going to be you. Wonderful. How's my air doing? Eh, it's doing fine. Basically, there's, like, not a lot really going on with them. I no longer need my daughter Mark there. Probably don't need these two either. I'm thinking that's good. Uh, probably could do like the next couple of heirs. So like uh, you and ah, that's basically it. Gilbert and Baldrick. But that seems fine. Gilbert I think has better stats, right? No. No, Baldrick has better stats. That's okay. Right. Uh, done that. Taking that. Now, I think that might be a good point to end the episode. I'm just thinking about that here. Yeah, I think that's a solid point to end the episode. The Mongols have expanded. We have expanded. Uh, we need to burn off a little tyranny, but that's okay. Uh, you know what? You know how I switched to this lovely new regalia, which is great. I'm going to switch back to the old regalia because I want 10% extra tyranny loss. Okay. Cool. Right, and with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.